Thank you for tuning in to Terry Slew videos. On today's video, I'm gonna do a Where Are They Now on the actor Damon Wilson. Damon is most known for playing the role of Lamont Sanford on the show Sanford and Son. And this was one of the most popular shows of the 1970s. It was on the air from 1972 to 1977. It ran for six seasons. And it was the second highest rated show on the air. The highest rated show on the air was All in the Family. It brought in 30 million viewers per show. Sanford and Son brought in 28 million viewers per show. This is the reason why Damon Wilson and Red Fox wanted more money. Red Fox was getting paid $20,000 per episode and Damon Wilson was getting paid $10,000 per episode. Carol O'Connor, the star of All in the Family, was making over $150,000 per episode. And Red Fox wanted the same amount of money that Carol O'Connor was making for All in the Family. But they wasn't willing to pay Red Fox that type of money. And they weren't willing to play Damon Wilson that type of money. And this is one of the reasons why the show went off the air in 1977 even though it was one of the highest rated shows on the air at the time. And I can understand Red Fox and Demond wanting their fair share. They had one of the most profitable shows on the air, but they're getting paid less money. And it's always been known that black actors have gotten paid less money than white actors. And due to the fact that they had one of the most profitable shows on the air, they should have been gotten paid more money a lot more than 20,000 per episode. But the show made Damon Wilson an international superstar, and he was a fan with the ladies. White women loved him, black women loved him, Latino women loved him. Women would go crazy everywhere he would go. Hollywood, I had this chance to talk with Damon Wilson. He is son of Sanford and <laughs> son. <laughs> Damon, what changes has this made in your life now, being in this hit TV series? I don't owe quite as many people. Uh, no. I don't know. It's, uh, I, I, I haven't really had a chance to think about it. I, I've just been working a lot. And people are beginning to know who I am when I walk down the street, you know. And, uh, I, I really didn't know the impact of the show until Red and I went on tour. And we went to the various cities all over the states, and, uh, we got to about maybe 25 different cities. And the people, you know, they mob you, and it's, uh, I guess that's a difference. Here in, in Hollywood, it's a little different because people are more accustomed to seeing you. They say, hey, you're the guy on, but when you go outside of Los Angeles, it's really a gas. So it's, um, and I'm working and I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. So it's, uh, I guess that, that's what it's been. So I'm you're a happy man. Yeah, I'm kind of happy now. Do you uh, and Red resent the inevitable comparison to Archie Bunker and All in the Family? No, no, because there is no comparison, really. Uh, I guess we have, the, we have the same producers, so that's probably the reason why people link the two shows together. But the two shows have nothing to do with each other. They're just, uh, I think they're both bold shows, but they're entirely different. You know, Red Fox, Fred Sanford is not a bigot. You know, he's just a, a cantankerous old man who will straighten anybody out if they're wrong, you know. What kind of mail do you get, Damon? What kind of mail does this show get? Mostly we get fan mail from, uh, well, we get fan mail from everybody. We get fan mail from, from little kids in school. We get fan mail from teenagers. We get fan mail from older people. So it's uh, a combination of, uh, uh, we get letters from everybody, mostly favorable. Uh, we don't get too many unfavorable letters. Does anybody ever uh, take exception to the relationship between you and your father? Because sometimes you come on, you know, you kind of put him down. And just yeah, kind of yeah, but um, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess at first we had a lot of uh, people were saying that I was too mean to the old man, but uh, I'm, I play a 32-year-old loser who has nothing but, but my father, and he has nothing but the son. So it's like, he doesn't want me to leave him, and I don't, and I, and I don't want to leave because I really don't have any place to go, but uh, I'm 32 years old, and he's cantankerous, and I have to put up with this. So I don't think it's disrespect. If I were 17 or 18, I guess it would be. What being is that I'm 32 and I'm still there with him, that should show, show the people that I love him. You know? In 1974, Damon Wilson, married the beautiful model, Cecilia Johnston. And he's been married to her for almost 50 years. And they have six kids together. 
Now, after Sanford and Son went off the air in 1977, he started in a TV show, Baby, I'm Back. And this was Ken Fields' first acting role. She plays his little daughter on the show. She's only like five years old on this show. And I really liked this show, but it was only on the air for one season. It starred Denise Nichols in him, and they play a, a divorced couple, and he's trying to get back in her life and get back in the kid's life. I thought this was a really great show, and I don't think it should have been canceled after one season. This show should have stayed on the air for at least six or seven seasons. But the thing about this is, if this show would have stayed on the air for six or seven seasons, Ken Fields would have never got the role in Facts of Life. So there never would have been a Tootie, there would have never been a Tootie on the Facts of Life if Baby I'm Back would have stayed on the air past that first season in 1978. From 1982 to 1983, Damon Wilson stars in The New Odd Couple. This was a comedy sitcom that co-starred Ron Glass. And I thought the chemistry between him and Ron Glass was amazing. This should have stayed on the air a long time, but it was canceled after one season. He got a tough break after Sanford and Son went off the air. Every time he would get a new show, the show would get canceled after the first season. And this was another great comedy show that should have stayed on the air for more than one season. In 1985, he changed his whole life around. He gave up drugs and alcohol. He became a born again Christian and he became a pastor. And I've listened to some of his sermons and he's a great pastor. He knows how to speak the word of God. He knows how to get the message out there. And I'm glad that he changed his life around. I'm not a Christian, but when I hear him speak, it makes me want to become a Christian. And the Lord revealed this to me just before I went to speak. And as a result of uh, the, the trials that I've been placed in, uh, as a result of all of the things that I've gone through being on the front line, I know for a fact right now, as I sit here before you, without uh, using fancy words I know that no matter what is manifest into your life for those of you who are watching this broadcast this telecast if Satan has manifested something in your life in your lives that is that you can see in the, in the way of reading sometimes you go to the mailbox and you get a bad message in the mail you get maybe a lawsuit or you get things in the mail that you can't that are unpleasant that you have to deal with that's seeing it with your eyes something that you feel in your spirit that Satan is being as manifest against you or something that you hear with your ears that Satan is manifesting against you God can give you the victory over it there's not any area and this is something that I had to find out in my life and in my walk being a, an ordained minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ that there is not a situation I don't care what it is it depends on how deep your, you want your commitment to go. It depends on how long you want to stay before the Lord with it. When we, as spirit-filled, born-again Christian, children of the King, when we petition our Lord about a situation that is in our lives, God starts. The only thing that moves the hand of God is prayer. God can deliver you out of whatever situation you're in. I was snorting cocaine. I was drinking alcohol. I was doing all of the things that earmark a person who is walking in the ways of the world and God did not stop me from doing those things he delivered me out of it Amen. every situation that I've come against as a minister of this gospel God has delivered and given me the victory out of today Damon Wilson is 74 years old and I think he looks great most of the cast members of Sanford and Son have passed away Red Fox has passed away Rollo has passed away Aunt Esther has passed away. He's one of the only cast members of the show who's still alive. And he's 74 years old and he's still going strong. I'm glad to see that he's still alive and well. He's been married for 46 years. He has six kids and that's a blessing. That's a blessing for any person to be married for 46 years. He has a loving family and I'm just glad to see that he's doing good. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.